Hey guys, Jolly here. I'm going over another one of my loadouts. Uh, this is the one I use for most maps. Um, it is the, I call it the DMR Hollow, because I like to just uh, specify what the main weapon is and what uh, armor ability I'm using. So um, to start out, I'll tell you the main weapon I use is the DMR. Uh, it's my favorite weapon out of the primary weapons. Um, and for the secondary, I actually use the perk that allows you to carry two primary weapons. And I like to use the uh, storm rifle because it doesn't have to be reloaded. And it's great for uh, close quarters. So um, you, uh, you could use the assault rifle if you want it or, or something else if you prefer that. But uh, for this, I like to use Storm Rifle. This isn't the best level to have the Storm Rifle on, but it can still be effective in these uh, buildings that I was just walking through. But other than that, it doesn't really have a whole lot of use, but I do love the Hologram. Um, this, it seems to work a lot better than it did in Halo Reach. You can uh, fool a lot of people with this, and it can make the, the difference between winning and losing a battle. So if you just uh, duck around a corner and spit out a hologram real quick, you'll get the guy to focus on your hologram. They shoot at it, you know, like almost every time. It's really, really nice. So they shoot at that, they're already aiming at something else. You pop out, gives you just enough time to uh, rail off a shot or two before they catch on. Sometimes you get people that just don't understand and they just chase it, but that's that's kind of rare. But of course, if you uh, come across a snipe like I did, obviously, drop that storm rifle for the snipe or whatever else. You know, there's definitely better weapons than the storm rifle. It's just a nice thing to have when there are no other weapons available. And with the way the new Halo is, there's rarely weapon drops. And you only get the ordnance drops when you're in Slayer. So uh, it's nice to have a nice strong secondary. Because you don't even know where the weapons are going to fall. I mean, there's a shotgun on this level right now because it was an ordnance drop. But you, you don't really know what time they're going to fall down. You, you don't know when. And even when you, they do fall down, half the time you don't even know it's like that shotgun right there. I mean, no one has picked it up yet. I mean, it's not the most effective weapon on this level, but... Still, it's uh, nice to have a better secondary that no one is noticing. And another thing is, uh, it doesn't have to do with this loadout, but you guys may have just noticed I was getting shot while I was scoped in. But you can stay scoped in now, so you don't even have to worry about sniping people while they're shooting at you anymore. It's pretty cool but also really annoying being on the receiving end of that. Yeah, you guys just saw me pass up on that other guy to snipe at, because I already knew that guy was going to get killed anyways, so I didn't want to waste any ammo on him, so I went for the guy that wasn't a guaranteed kill. Thought about doing an overshield right there, but uh, if they would have picked it up, that would have been so good. So I just just decided to take the death on that one. Um, for the so for the other perk I'm using is dexterity. It's almost a, a given that you have to use that if you're going to use the the firearms perk where you can hold two weapons. So with de dexterity, you swap weapons quicker and reload faster. Which is uh, even a good perk if you're not using the firearms, because a fast reload can mean, you know, the difference between death and life. So you, you reload pr probably about like 50% faster with this uh, perk. And it, for the bigger levels like this, you almost have to use the DMR because it's more accurate than the uh, BR. Um, an alternative to it, I, I guess you could use the light rifle, which takes um, one less shot, but it shoots a little bit slower. 
Um, I don't see a lot of people using that, but maybe it's uh, still a little early for that to see if it's actually uh, better. But um, I just prefer the DMR, and I think most people at this point prefer the DMR as well. And uh, I always use frag grenades. See, that guy actually, uh, he starts shooting at my hologram. I was just trying to give myself a second to get my shield back. But uh, yeah, I'm using the frag grenades. Um, to me, those are the most useful and versatile grenades just because of the angles you can get frag grenades at because they can bounce off of things, um, get better angles. Like the plasmas, they take longer to blow up and they don't seem to be as strong as they used to be. Uh, they used to be able to kill somebody with um, full shield if you were standing on top of them, but I mean, I think you have to be literally standing on it, like your feet have to be touching it for you to die with full shield, which isn't all that useful because people are never just going to sit on top of plasma grenades. So I prefer the frags, and the other, other grenades are really interesting. They stick onto the walls and drain shields, and they do a little explosion after they blow up. But they also don't, you know, ricochet off things. They stick to whatever they hit. So I mean, you could use those. Um, maybe they'd be useful in a level like this where it's big and open. But I just stick with the uh, the tried and true method with the frag grenades. That's my go-to. As for uh, the DMR, um, it's still a five shot kill. I'm sure most of you have noticed by now. But uh, it doesn't seem to have uh, as much bloom. It's almost similar to what they did with the title update in Reach, um, where the bloom is uh, drastically reduced from the original Reach. And uh, it seems they're way more generous now with headshots than they ever were before. I don't know if that guy was weak or not. You used to just get a medal just for sniping someone in the head, but now you get a medal every time you like snipe someone. But anyways, the, the headshots are, they give them, if they're basically in like upper chest almost. So I wouldn't even really p worry about pacing out your shots unless they're really far away. And I would worry about pacing out that last shot because the bloom isn't going to spread outside of your reticu reticule until like seven or eight shots when you're just railing them off. So it's not a big deal to spam anymore. I feel like that guy gave me a headshot and I don't know if that was an actual headshot. It was just kind of high up on his body. So you don't have to worry about being right on that dome. Not anymore. Well, I would say it's a uh, it's harder to get hitch well not harder. It's about the same to get headshots from behind. The sniper rifle, you know, clears through bodies, so the bullet doesn't stop, and you can shoot them from the back into the head if they're you know looking down or something. This is a nice little spot to camp if uh, your buddies have your back. Um, you can hang out in the back of this, what everyone seems to be calling Top Jerk. I'm not sure what that means, but that's the call outs I've been hearing for it. It must be some sort of silly MLG business. I don't know, I'm just, I just go with it. But right where I'm staying now, there's a lot of cover, except for on the uh, left where they can run up. So a lot of times if you, uh, if you have them pinned down, this is a, a great spot to be at. Mm, missed that guy. Not so good. Look at that. I don't think that was a headshot either, but it just, I don't know, it just seems to kill everybody <laughs> with one shot. It doesn't even matter. It's almost like the Call of Duty 
sniper rifle or something. You get one shot kills sometimes. Oh, no headshot there. Missed. I see you spend too much time up there, inevitably someone will take you down because there are some spots, some angles and spots that uh, you really can't defend yourself from. And then there's times like that where it seems like you're just not getting a headshot, but I think that's more rare than getting the headshot. So I'm going to go back in here and test my luck with this guy. Maybe I'll get to use the storm rifle a little bit here. There we go exchange with that guy and see I had less health than he did I had about a quarter of a shield running in there and we still exchanged I probably shouldn't have even gone in but you can see how effective the uh, storm rifle is up close and that's it uh, thanks for watching uh, let me know if you tried this out in the comments uh, let me know if you liked it uh, thanks for watching, guys.